and I was at the store yesterday and I was just checking out my food and this old lady was in front of me buying those cookies and she was just like, oh my gosh, they're so good. And I was like, I know, I know, they got us. They got us good with the cookies. Ugh. Hey, what's up guys? Oh, it's so loud right here. It is way too loud. All right, if you can hear me. Can you hear me? All right. Hey, what's up guys? So today I wanted to make a video talking about my diet right now. And oh my gosh, these waves are too loud. These waves are too loud. I'm gonna try to shoot this video though. So I wanted to talk about my diet and how I'm basically a carnivore right now, kind of. And let's get into it now. All right, so I'm down by the water. It's kind of loud. The waves are crashing in and there's people all around and I'm nervous because I don't like doing this sort of thing in front of people. But I'm gonna try and hopefully you could hear me with this mic. Um, but I wanted to catch the sunset as it was going down, as the sun was setting and talk about what I'm eating right now. So. Basically what I'm eating right now, I've mentioned it before, but it's like an SCD low FODMAP kind of diet. And basically right now I'm just eating a lot of meat and then specific fruits. I've cut out all vegetables because they seem to cause me certain issues, uh, especially in the mental clarity department. And so these waves are ridiculous. It's like an SCD low FODMAP kind of diet. And basically right now I'm just we got some kids over there. We got some people walking. We got people walking all over the place. Look at how majestic that is though. I got this I got this wide angle lens on my phone and I'm probably a silhouette right now. But anyways, yeah, so I'm eating specific fruits uh, and certain meats and I'm basically like a carnivore paleo person. I'm not eating vegetables. I'm thinking about juicing them because of electrolytes and obviously minerals and stuff, but I'm not eating vegetables right now. And actually my mood is very good and my mental clarity is good. And so that's the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing is because it's working. So yeah, I'm basically eating like the fattiest uh, ground beef I can find and then like oranges, uh, these pink oranges, Cecilia oranges and any types of oranges. Uh, I'm basically going off of the fruits that are on the SCD low FODMAP list, which I'll put another link in the description to that. And yeah, look at this freaking sunset. We get sunsets like this like every day and it's really, really cool. Um, but yeah, so basically I'm a carnivore right now and I'm like a carnivore paleo diet person. I'm not eating any grains or complex carbs. I'm just eating fruits. I'm eating fruit and meat. That's like literally what I'm eating. I just wanted to share that with you and make a video in front of the sunset. And yeah. These waves are so loud. But yeah, so I'm not eating vegetables right now because vegetables are stupid and I'm not about that life. Um, and I just I just noticed that my mind is clear when I cut out vegetables and I don't know why like I don't know if it's the fiber or what but yeah it's kind of like when I've been thinking lately that the most natural diet and this is gonna be debunked in a second and my hair is crazy but like the most natural diet would be potentially oh. I almost dropped my phone but I feel like the most natural diet would be like meat and like fruits and vegetables. Like when you think about like grains and human cultivation of certain foods, it just kind of, that is definitely more manipulated. That is a more manipulated thing than meat or fruits. And now I'm just, because I'm eating meat, and I'll, I need to make a video talking about if I feel bad about eating meat, because it's, it's a weird thing. And I'll make another, I'll make a video talking about that. But basically, like, I feel like meat is definitely more natural to eat than grains. Because grains are just like human, 
like we've cracked the code on how to like cultivate them but whereas like in nature you would just eat an animal which is like obviously you're killing like you're killing an animal my knee just popped uh, like you're killing an animal to take its life to get, feed your life and it sucks but yeah uh, my knees hurt from bending down like that I'm getting old I'm an old man I'm almost 25 what is life so yeah this is Boulevard Park oh is it upside down this is Boulevard Park this is where the sunsets happen it's pretty sweet this little bridge right here got woods coffee over there oh yeah I'm basically just not eating vegetables right now and I feel better doing that like my body feels less inflamed I'm literally just eating a super condensed diet and I got strings attached to me right now I got wires up the yin-yang because I'm wearing this mic I'm gonna go home now because the Sun is set I'm not bringing my big camera because it's big and this is small and more discreet because I have anxiety about making videos in front of people but now we're in my car and I feel free and not as like oh, I'm making a video oh. but look at these people sitting majestically watching the sunset look at them so majestic right now so majestic but yeah, so when I think, like, these are just my thoughts right now. Or I guess these aren't my thoughts. I just have been feeling better eating very, 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 very simply, very strictly. No grains, no complex carbs, just certain fruits like oranges. Like, I've literally been eating oranges and meat. That's it. And my mood has been better. My mental clarity has been better. I still have some anxiety, um, but it doesn't stop me from doing things. But yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you. It's very simple I know I need to I want to improve my gut I mean I need to heal my gut and release all the monsters and demons that are in there so I can tolerate other foods and not feel like cloudy and brain foggy and just depressed after just eating rice or whatever and so yeah but for right now like what I'm eating is actually really really working as far as my mood and my mental clarity and so if you're looking to eat a diet that like if you're just experiencing anxiety there's girls walking by and i'm just looking at them and feeling nervous because i'm she cute anyways um yeah so if you're feeling anxious or you're feeling very brain foggy uh, and very depressed definitely clean up your diet switch up your diet try to try out a lower fermentable diet just to experiment to see if there is problems with your gut like if you get bloated that can be a sign if you have anxiety or brain fog that's a for sure sign that your gut is there's something going on with what you're eating or just in your gut in general and yeah so what I've been eating right now has been helping me uh, feel better and it's not like a long-term solution like I want to be able to eat more more foods and feel fine but just the situation as it is right now I'd feel okay doing what I'm doing and so yeah uh, thanks for watching this video I hope you enjoyed the sunset I filmed it with my phone, so hopefully the quality was okay. It's in 720p. Don't need to really tell you that, but you're probably watching on your phone, so you can't tell that much of a difference. But uh, yeah, there's like people walking all over the place, and I don't know why I get so nervous, but I'm nervous because I'm like, oh, I don't want people to see me filming a video, and there's a girl in the car behind me, and I'm just like, oh. I don't want to be doing this everybody will be looking at me and it's like weird like I really don't care but I still have some of that anxiety and so yeah thanks for watching this video subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one be sure to check out the list of foods that I'm eating right now or at least not not the list of foods that I'm eating what well, is the list of foods that I'm going off of but just the SCD low FODMAP list that is in the description below and if you want to try some healthy cookies, uh, go to your local co-op and get Capello's cookies. They're super good. They do have some, I feel pretty good on them, although they, although they do have some foods that aren't, that aren't supposed to be on the list that I'm giving you. 
but I tolerate them okay. They're expensive, but if you want to try them, they're in the description below too. So you can go there or go to their website, Capello's. I'll put a link to their website. They're just so good. And I was at the store yesterday and I was just checking out my food and this old lady was in front of me buying those cookies and she was just like, oh my gosh, they're so good. And I was like, I know, I know. They got us. They got us good with the cookies. They're healthy, organic, vegan, dairy-free, obviously, because they're vegan. And they're just so good. They're just like $13 a thing. So that's the only thing. They're like a celebration cookie. Although I would I would totally base my diet off of them. Um, but it's just not sustainable financially right now. One day I'll be able to live off of just those cookies. I'll see you guys later. Bye.